Good morning. Happy Tuesday. I'm Carol Batchelor with your Lake Powell Life News Update. Muggy morning, and it's hazy, too, out there. We're definitely in for another hot, sunny day. Travis will check in with us in about 15 minutes for your full-page Lake Powell forecast, so stick around for that. A man of the Mormon faith currently in the middle of a hunger strike as his way to call attention to a campaign calling out church leaders for their closed-door, one-on-one interviews, where church leaders are asking the young people in the congregation if they're following the church's strict laws of chastity. Sam Young, who is a member of the Church of Latter-day Saints in Houston, began his hunger strike on Friday in Salt Lake City across the street from the Mormon Temple. Young and his supporters call the questions inappropriate and believe they lead to an unhealthy shaming of youth. Today is National Heat Stroke Prevention Day. Around here, the 100-degree days seem mild in comparison to the heat our neighbors to the south of us have been coping with. The national statistics are tough to ignore. Since 1998, over 760 children have died from vehicular heat stroke throughout the United States, and about 400 of them had accidentally been left alone in a car and forgotten by a caregiver. Those stats compiled by Jan Knoll, who runs the website No Heat Stroke, on behalf of the Alliance of Automobile Manufacturers, he tells Lake Powell Life News all of those deaths could have been prevented. My research has found that two-thirds of the heating inside a car takes place within the first 20 minutes and that the effect of cracking the windows is less than three degrees. This is why parents and other caregivers need to know that children left unattended in cars can easily cause a tragedy. Noel tells Lake Powell Life News there are a few extra precautions you can take to keep yourself or your caregiver in check. Make look before you lock a routine. Whenever you get out, especially when it comes to sleeping babies, it might even be helpful to put something like a purse, briefcase, or cell phone in the backseat as a reminder. Ensure that kids don't have access to keys, remote entry devices, and teach them that cars are never to be used as play areas. Likewise, if you ever see a child left alone in a car, even if it's someone else's, call 911 immediately. To learn more, visit our website, lakepowellife.com. And just a slight change to the Powell Museum's hours beginning next month. Monday through Friday, 9 to 5 will stay the same, but the weekend schedule slightly different. Powell Museum and Visitor Center will now be open Saturdays 10 to 3, Sunday from 1 to 4. Here in Page, the tourist season continues. More folks visiting than ever. In fact, we've been noticing a lot of people jaywalking across Lake Powell Boulevard instead of crossing at the intersections. Lots of close calls with drivers going too fast and pedestrians jumping out into traffic. Please, as you're enjoying our community, we ask you to play it safe. Slow it down. Give pedestrians a chance. If you're driving, if you're out there crossing the street as a pedestrian, you're likely to make it through your entire vacation if you stick to using the lights at the intersection to help you cross. Of course, the massive fires in California, where fire agencies from across the country have responded in an effort to do what they can to help The California firefighters somehow contain those monster blazes. The car fire in Northern California, now the seventh most destructive wildfire in the state's history. The week-old blaze has killed six people, left dozens missing, burned more than 1,100 structures, and scorched more than 103,000 acres, an area bigger than Denver. And back to school, August 7th, for Page Unified students, Coconino County Public Health Services District, providing immunizations and sports physicals in Flagstaff during the county. County's Super Service Saturdays. They have two days where they're offering physicals and immunizations on a walk-in basis. That's August 11th and September 8th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. We'll put that information for you on our website, lakepowellife.com. Thanks for listening to Lake Powell Life News, 98.3 and 1340, The Bandit, and 93.3 Jack FM. Remember, news and other information posted on our free website, lakepowellife.com.